Hello everyone, this is Floyd Dameron and I'm here to talk about an airplane I was given that was glow powered. I decided to go ahead and convert it to electric powered. It's an old Eaglet trainer, 51 inch wingspan, balsa wood, plywood model. Flies really good. And here it is, all its splendor. I left the original skin on it because why why change something that works? The only I did have to do a bit of repair work on it. I just used some packing tape <coughs> to cover up the opening where the skin was. I also of course replaced the servos. The old servos weighed weighed about an ounce. These 9 gram servos, metal gears, much lighter. Uh, you know, so they, let me see, 9 grams, that's about a little over a third of an ounce. And, you know, it takes off some weight. They had uh, four servos all together in there. There was one for the steerable wheel but I decided I didn't really care about a steerable wheel so I just have elevator and ailerons on this baby she flies like a dream also I replaced the receiver with this little guy here cost you nine bucks on valuehobby.com that's also where I got the servos the motor is a power 10 copy of the e-flight called a G10 and I went with a 10 by 5 inch prop gives it more than enough power to get off the ground and the flight characteristics are just like I'd expect it to be for a trainer fairly slow flyer very gentle uh, handling and to protect the bottom of the wing I put on some weather stripping and I like the job it does as far as protecting it but the only downside is that it you know uh, it doesn't stay on very well so I have to be careful when I take the wings on and off the battery is a 2200 milliamp uh, three cell battery and yeah, I got. I miscalculated the center of gravity a little bit. So as you notice, this uh, elevator is <laughs> compensating. It was dropping quite a bit when I was flying it, but I still, you know, other than uh, quite a bit of up trim, had no problem with it. All I have to do is move the battery back a bit, and it'll be good to go. The well, the front front landing gear, since I no longer have the engine that came with it, the engine mount had a hole for the landing gear. So these little plastic pieces, I picked those up, and those hold really good. And I've got it in place, so you know, try and move it. It doesn't want to budge, which is exactly what I want. I just want it to say. Uh, go straight you know, you know, I've read I read one of the reviews on this motor also if you decide to go with this kind of a motor and there's a shaft that actually does stick out the back of that the uh, you know, some people have actually cut it off and one person who did in their review said it somehow the motor didn't operate properly after they did that so, well, I've decided to learn from their mistake and leave it in place. The total flying weight of this model now is roughly 43 ounces. And I could probably go with a bigger, bigger battery later on if I so choose. Anyway, um, that's basically all I have for you now. So, if you have any questions or comments, 
please go ahead and write, write to me and let me know. I look forward to hearing from you and have a good flight. Thanks.